Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. Today we're going to look at our Dell webcam and we have loaded Dell webcam before, but in case if you were not here and you missed that step, just a real quick reminder, what you need to do is go to your desktop, open up Software Center. And when you do, you're going to look down the list of your available software. So make sure you're under this tab and look for one that says Dell webcam. Now you won't see it on mine because I've already installed it. But what you would do, let's just pretend this was it. You would check the box next to it and click Install Selected. So that's all you need to do there to get it installed. Once you have it installed, you need to open it. So we're going to go to our Start menu, go to All Programs, and you're going to look for a folder that says Dell Webcam, and then you'll see Dell Webcam Central. You can also just type it here in the search section. So when I open Dell Webcam, you're going to see it pull up here. And then you'll start seeing B. Now my webcam's on. And you'll notice you've got two different tabs up here. You have Snap Photos, and then you have Record Video. Okay, and notice that Record Video kind of backs up a little bit when it's doing it. gets a little wider range. So this may be helpful when you're doing your video for your Marvel Matters presentation. Now, notice down here at the bottom, in this section right here, you have a record button. It looks like a little video camera, but you have a pull down menu. And I want you to notice this. Open that pull down, you'll see video size, you'll see different sizes. Make sure you have it at 1280 by 720. The larger the number, the better quality it's gonna be. The other thing that I want you to notice here is that you have a self timer. It's by default turned off, but you can turn it on. So I'm gonna turn it on. And that's gonna give me a three second timer. So notice what happens here. When I click the record button, so it's letting me, letting me know it's about to record and then I can you know, start talking. So that's helpful, kind of gets you ready, gives you a moment to you know, take a breath and get everything together before you start talking. So I'm gonna hit stop and finish that. Now, when you record and you hit stop, it puts it down here at the bottom. To preview it, you just simply double click on it let, let me know, know it's about, about to record, record and then I can you know, start. start. So it's previewing it for me so I can play it there, see how I like it. And I can come up here and click this X to close it and that'll take me back to the webcam. So here I am on the video part again. Now it's down here on the bottom. If you don't like it, you can right click on it and click delete. So I'm gonna delete that there. Something else I wanna show you that's here is under this menu, under the more options, you also can change it from normal video to time lapse. And if you change it to time lapse, what that's going to do is going to take a picture every few seconds or a few minutes or a few hours. And so right here, you can choose how long and you can choose seconds, minutes or hours. And so that's sometimes helpful uh, if you want to, you know, set it for hours and, or excuse me, minutes and say every two minutes and, you know, take a picture of how things are changing uh, over that time. Seconds are sometimes helpful too if you're doing like stop motion. So <clears throat> know that those are there. Most of the time you're gonna keep that though in normal video. So I'm gonna change that back to normal video. Now, some other things I want you to notice. Over here on the right, you have video settings, brightness, contrast, color, and gamma. You'll notice that I purposely, I'm filming in a dark situation. So I did that so that you could see what it looks like with, you know, I'm filming in a garage right now with just a single light on. Normally I'd wanna have a lot better lighting. I'd wanna have maybe some window light shining in on me or things of that nature. But I want to—I did this purposely to show you some differences in controls as well as we're gonna bring, or I'm gonna bring the clip into Wii Video and show you something to be careful of if you're ever filming green screen of watching out for shadows. So right here we have video settings. You'll notice uh, backlight. If I take it to the left, it makes things darker. Typically you don't want that. Uh, but it is something that sometimes helpful if you're out in a really bright situation. Uh, brightness, if I move it to the right, it's brighter. To the left, it's darker. It's probably a little dark there. Contrast, you probably don't want to play around with too much because notice the farther you go, it gets really grainy. Uh, so you want to keep that, for the most part, to the left. Color is the one that I play around with a bit. If you take it to the right, it's going to make it a little, a little more orange or a little more red. Uh, let's see, here we go. See how my face is really, really red. If I go to the left, now I'm grayscale. So you want to find something that looks kind of natural there. Gamma I wouldn't mess with. If you take it to the right, it washes everything out. So just leave it the way it is. Uh, you can always restore your defaults, take it back to the factory settings. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put my color down just a bit. So again, to record, all you do is just click on the little video camera button. I've got the timer on. 
So now it's recording. And so I can look at the camera, talk about what I want to say. And a little trick I learned, rather than trying to get your cursor back on that button to stop it, you can simply just hit your space bar. And so it uh, stopped it just with the space bar. Now, what's neat about Dell Webcam is whenever you stop your video, it automatically saves it to your My Documents folder. So if you come down here to any of these videos, you can right click on them and go to My Photos and Videos. And you'll notice it has them here under My Documents, Dell Webcam, Record Videos. So here they all are. So I could go then to say We Video, and I can drag and drop and upload them or upload them to any other program that I need. So that's all that we're gonna cover in this video. Remember, we have a lot of videos about Wii Video in the tutorial section, and we'll talk about it some in class today. So if you have any questions, as always, just feel free to ask.